In this video, we are going to learn about dget function, which is also lookup function, and also cover the two problems of VLOOKUP, which is in VLOOKUP, we cannot search value from right to left and cannot search multiple criteria at the same time. But with the help of dget function, we can search the values from right to left and also apply the multiple criteria. Before I start my video further, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get the all future videos notification. On your screen, you can see the one database in which we have employee ID, co-center, department, employee name, basic salaries, etc. So in my first scenario, I am looking for house rent allowance on basis of employee ID. Whatever I will select the employee ID here from this list, then I must get the house rent allowance here. So here I will use dget function equal dget bracket. The first argument is database. So I will select my database from A3 to S23, comma. The second argument is field, which means what is my output column. So right now is I'm looking for house rent allowance. So this is my field. Here we have three options. I can enter the column number or I can write the field name and third one is I can give the cell reference. So firstly, I will enter the column number here. So I'm looking for house rent loan. So I will count my column number from start 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Here I will enter 6, comma. The third argument is criteria. My criteria is employee ID and then bracket close and press enter. When I press enter, I got the amount 1759. If I go to the database and search this employee ID, this is my employee ID. And you can see this is house rent allowance. So if I change the employee ID here, for example, this one, I got the house rent allowance 2441. Now, if I added this formula and instead of enter the column number, I will write the field name here. For example, I will insert inverted commas. And inside the inverted commas, I will write it the field name, which is house rent. Be careful about the spelling mistake to avoid any error. Then press enter. And you can see I got the same answer. So if I change the employee ID, for example, this one, and you can see I got the house rent allowance 826. This is my employee ID and this is my house rent allowance. The third option is now we can give the cell reference in the field argument to make it dynamic. So here I will edit this formula and then remove this field. And then I will give the reference house rent and press enter. And you can see I got the same answer. So now if you want to change the field name, just click on this and change the traveling for example. And you got the answer 330. If I go to this database, this is my employee ID. And here I have the same traveling amount. Similarly, if I change it from traveling to basic salaries, this is my basic salary of this employee ID. And if I go to the database here, this is a basic salary. So in this way, you can use the dget function dynamically. Now our next scenario is I'm looking for department name on basis of employee name criteria. Whatever I will select the name from this list, I must get the department name here. But if you notice that in this database, I have employee names in the D column and department on the left side of the employee name in C column. It's mean I'm looking some information from right to left. So in case of VLOOKUP function, it will not work. So here I will use dget function again, which is equal dget bracket. Firstly, I will select my database from A3 to S23, comma. Next one is field. I will give my field, comma. Third one is criteria. And here I will select my criteria, bracket close and press enter. And I got the department is finance. So if I change the name here from Maria to Susan, and I got the department name marketing. So if I go to the database, this is Susan and this is marketing department. 
my next scenario is I'm looking for basic salaries or whatever the field I will select it from this list on basis of these two multiple criteria. So here I will use again dget function equal dget bracket. First argument is database. I will select my database from H3 to H23, comma. This is my field, comma. And then I will select these two criteria and bracket close, press enter. I got the value error. Why? Because my these two criteria are not matching with each other. If we see this employee ID in this database, this is employee ID and here the employee name is Jennifer. So if I select the employee name Jennifer from this list and you can see I got the basic salary of this employee. Why? Because ticket function is using AND logic. So doesn't matter how many criteria we are giving here they must all be true otherwise we will get error so if i select any other field for example gross salaries and you can see i got the gross salaries for this employee so if i select any other employee id let's see what happened i will select this and you can see i got the value error so if we go to the database here this is our employee id and here the employee name is lisa here i will select the lisa and I got the gross salaries. You can also avoid this kind of double working. You can also use the dget function here in employee name. For example, I will delete this and here I will use dget function. This is my database, comma. This is my field and this is my criteria. Bracket close, press enter. And you can see I got the employee name Lisa. So whatever I will select my employee ID here. I got the updated name Jennifer and I got the updated gross salaries. Similarly, if I select different employee ID, for example, this one, I got the updated employee name and I got the updated gross salaries. So if I change the gross salaries to traveling, I have the correct answer. If I go to the database, this is my employee ID. This is my employee name and this is my traveling allowance. So in my next scenario, I'm looking for these all information, cost center, department, employee name, gross salaries on basis of this criteria. Once I select any employee ID from this list, I must get all these information at the same time. Here I will use dget function equal dget and I will select my database. This time I will fix my database by using dollar sign because later on I want to copy this formula in the other cells. The next one is field. I will select my field and I will not fix my field because it will be updated automatically when I will copy this formula. Comma. The third one is criteria. And I will also fix my criteria by using dollar sign bracket close and press enter. And I got the cost center. 7901 so right now i will drag this formula up to the end and you can see i got the cost center department employee name and gross salaries so if i change the employee id and my cost center department employee name and gross salary is automatically updated and if i go to that database this is my employee id and you can see I have the Susan employee name here and here marketing department and the gross salary is 13,180 and here we have the same marketing department and gross salary is 13,180. So in this way you can use dget function to look up any value from your database. Hopefully guys you like this video so don't forget to comment it and share this. Thank you so much.